Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Mike from Monsters Inc. So let's get started with the eye. I'm going to draw a big circle for the outside of the eyeball. Starting from the top, curve around to the side and back to the bottom. And then we'll curve all the way back up to the top. Then go back to the top and work my way out to the right side. Now from here let's draw in the pupil and iris. So in the center here I'm just going to move up a little bit and draw in the smallest circle. Starting from the top, circle to the bottom, and then back up to the top. From here, let's draw in a highlight on the top left area here. So a small circle up here. And then in behind the highlight, we're going to draw in the iris. So we're going to draw a small circle tucked in behind the highlight. Starting at the bottom of the highlight, we'll draw in a circle, and we'll color that in black. Let's give Mike a little bit of an eyelid. So from left to right, we're going to leave a little gap, but we're going to draw a curve that goes over the eyeball. Goes a little bit higher in the middle, and just comes down on the right side. From here, let's draw in the large brow area that goes above the eye. So from left to right, we're going to draw a larger curve that goes above that eyelid. Starting from the left, we'll curve up to the top, and then come down on the right side. From here, we're going to draw in the body. So it's a large circle that comes all the way down to the bottom of the chin. So right about here, we're going to go to the left side, step up, and just curve around towards the bottom to right about there. Go up to the right side, starting at the same height, and curve out the right side. Just try to merge that and blend it together. For a big circle body. From here, now we can tuck in the mouth. So we're going to draw in the top of the mouth first. So starting on the left, we're going to curve underneath the eye, and then over towards the right side. Let's draw in a couple brackets for the edge of the smile line. So on the left side, we're just going to draw a little hook. On the right, we'll draw a little hook. From here, we're going to take that those two points and draw in the bottom of the mouth. So from the left side, we're going to curve down to right about there and curve back up on the right side. Underneath the mouth, I just want to draw in the lower lip. So we're just going to draw a little curve just going along the bottom here. Now we can tuck in some jagged teeth along the top. Now the top teeth isn't actually like a zigzag. It's got a little bit of a rounded curve to it. So starting on the left side, we're going to curve down towards the point and then we'll just curve in slightly. We're going to continue this with a couple of curves that go to a point all the way across. So we're curving in towards the center, point, and then back up. We'll work our way over towards the right side and then at the end we'll just tuck that in underneath the top of the mouth. We'll go along the bottom and we're just going to draw a row of teeth as well. So we're going up to a point, curving down. Curve up, curve down. We'll do one more here like that. Let's tuck in the tongue in behind the teeth. So on the left side here, I'm just going to curve in behind the top teeth, and we'll curve down on the right. We'll color the inside edge in black. Now that we got the face, we'll go into the arms and the legs. So let's start with this arm on this side. We're going to actually have him waving on this side. So right in the middle of the body, right here, we're going to draw in the arm. So right here, we're going to draw a curve going from the armpit to the elbow. Now we're going to go up in an angle towards the wrist, so up like that. We're going to trace this on the inside, so the inside part of the arm, starting at the same height, we'll angle down. Now we're going to curve this in behind the body, but we're going to get a little bit wider as we come up, so it gets a little bit thicker as we get towards the body. From here, let's layer in the fingers. So on this end here on the left, we're going to do a slight overlap, curve up for the first finger, I'm going to curve that down, so we give him a little bit of a claw. We're going to move up, do a second finger, and then we'll pull that back. We'll do one more, curving up, and then we're going to curve this back a little bit lower here. Now we're going to tuck in the thumb. So from here we're going to do an overlap, curving out towards the thumb. We're going to taper down. Now we want to round this out towards the wrist. So we're going to go in the opposite direction and just overlap slightly. On this side, we're just going to draw the palm of the hand, so we just want to draw a little curve like that. Let's go to the right side and draw this arm. So this arm, we're going to draw it downwards in a little fist. So let's go ahead into the middle of the body here. We're going to draw in a curve going down, and then a straight line going towards the wrist. Again, we're going to do that on the outside of the arm, starting out a little bit wide, and just tapering it past that inside part of the elbow, coming down with a straight line, just parallel to the inside part of the arm. Now let's draw in the hand. From here we're going to round out the thumb. So almost like a half circle. 
we're going to draw a little bracket on the end of that thumb. We're going to move over and just curve around that bracket. Do an overlap for the second finger. Now the third finger, we're going to work our way back in towards the wrist. So going out and then right in towards that wrist line. Now before I get into the legs, let's add in the two horns on top of the head. So one on this side on the left. We start up here on top of the brow. We're going to curve up and we'll curve this down in behind the head. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. So starting at the same height, we'll curve up to the top of the horn and then we'll curve this down in behind the head. Let's get into the legs. So the legs are going to be identical. We're just going to flip them back left and right. So right here we're going to draw the legs coming down from here. So on the left side, we're going to draw a straight line going down towards the inside of the leg. On the right, we'll draw the same angled line. Now we're going to curve down towards the heels. So on the left side, we're going to curve downwards. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Okay, so we're going to make sure that the both legs are identical. On the heel on the left side, we're going to draw a straight line going towards the toe. From here, I just want to curve in. We're going to extend this line for a second toe. Curving in. Now the third toe, we're going to just extend it again one more time. We're going to curve above all these toes, like this. And we're going to curve up in the opposite direction. Up, leaving a gap for the leg here. Now here, I want to draw a curve going up towards the outside of the knee. We're going to draw a curve, just following that same curve of the inside of the leg. And we're going to curve in the opposite direction for the front of the thigh. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're going to extend the bottom of the foot. So making sure that this line is the same length as we have on the left. We'll curve the first toe, extend this line a little bit, curve the second toe, extend it out a little bit further, and now we're going to draw a curve over the toes, and we'll curve in the opposite direction, going up towards the ankle. Now we're going to curve up the front of the shin towards the outer kneecap, and then curve this in behind the body. Let's separate the toes with some claws, some toenails. So we're just going to separate them with a little curve on the tips of the toes. Cross like that. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Mike from Monsters Inc. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.